The goal is to be able to map substantial parts of the seafloor at a one centimeter resolution in terms of topography and to combine that with color photography at a scale of about two millimeters or so. What you're looking at here actually is our low altitude survey system. And up front is kind of the, the star of the show for this year. This is our LIDAR. And the LIDAR is a time of flight laser scanner. It has two optical heads. So there's two separate lasers and each of those include a mirror that scans back and forth. The laser in each housing is um, pulsing at 40,000 times a second. Every time it pulses, it's giving us a sounding, which is the single bathymetry measurement. And what's great about this LiDAR is it covers an, a field of view that's 90 degrees wide. And so that allows us to start to be able to do these very high resolution surveys efficiently. We went to Sur Ridge, which is um, south of Monterey Bay, and is covered with dense sponge and deep water coral or soft coral communities. And we were able to, to survey both of those kinds of habitats, including some places that have quite extreme topography. We're working in a dense benthic habitat and we are mapping that habitat at the scale of the animals that are there and we're mapping the animals themselves. Late in the year we then took this system, took it off of our ROV and um, integrated it with an ROV called Sebastian that's operated by the Schmidt Ocean Institute off of their ship, the RV Falcor, and we use that to map a hydrothermal vent field in the Pescadero Basin of the Southern Gulf of California. In the second part of that expedition, we had a team of biologists who then did their biological explorations and their biological sampling in the context of the maps that we were able to generate with this system. Another thing that was new for 2018 was that we took this frame and we mounted it into the tool sled of ROV Ventana with a pivot we articulated that with a hydraulic ram, and then we were able to rotate the whole frame from downward looking all the way to looking straight forward. And that allows us to start to do these surveys, not just over flat terrain, but over complex terrain, even up to vertical walls. This kind of mapping we, we hope will be done from autonomous platforms, from AUVs. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is seafloor mapping in the deep ocean, in complex terrain, efficiently.